My name is Jatia Taylor. I'm a nuclear engineer. I live in Chicago, Illinois. So nuclear engineering um, is basically controlling and harnessing the power of a nuclear reaction. Um, in my case, I work in nuclear non-proliferation, so it's my job to help uh, control the spread of nuclear weapons into the wrong hands and to ensure the spread of peaceful nuclear energy. So reactors, energy, good. We want to make sure that's used. Nuclear medicine, we want to make sure that readily available to everybody in the world uh, but nuclear weapons and that sort of thing we want to make sure we downplay that and stop the spread of that. It's definitely a, a smaller subset of engineering. Uh, I got into it a really weird way. I was actually in Navy ROTC um, and I was like 17 years old and one of the summer internships was going aboard a nuclear submarine and here I am 17 years old I'm sleeping between two missile silos and the, the submarine is powered by nuclear power and I was just think this is cool. I want to blow this up maybe or maybe stop people from blowing stuff up, but this is so cool and I want to learn more about it. So that's how I went into nuclear engineering. I love nerds. They are awesome. They always have something new and interesting, something that's not in the mainstream to talk about or to discuss. And I really like that. I like learning about new things. I like learning. So nerds always have something that's not on TV or not some fluff or stuff like that, you know, just learning. It doesn't even have to be like quantum physics or something like that. It could be whatever you do. If you are like a movie nerd, I love that. If you are into cars and you're a car nerd, let's go to the car show. I just love learning and I love people who delve into a subject and really want to learn more about it. So very funny, I grew up and like I was a huge nerd and a tomboy and I did not wear makeup. I remember, I still don't iron, I hate ironing. I refuse, to, I don't even buy clothes that need to be ironed. Like if I buy something and it gets too wrinkled, I'll just throw it away because I don't iron. <laughs> but I actually went off to college and I joined a sorority and these girls basically kind of taught me how to be pretty, how to be pretty. And so it's kind of funny because I, I like jumped into that how somebody would jump into learning quantum physics. You know, this is what you do with the makeup and this is what you do with the hair. And it's really simple. It's kind of stupid. I guess I had good building blocks. So, and then I took it a step further. I was always tall and skinny and nerdy and I ended up going into modeling. And then, you know, I got my hair and makeup done so many times that I picked up tips, you know, how to do this, how to do that. And now, you know, it's just like another tool in my toolbox, how to be cute. Um, well, I'm very analytical. Um, I'm always thinking a couple steps ahead. Um, that shelter, I'm gonna build that shelter. So I'm excited about that. I already drew it out, drew my plans. I'm so excited because I'm gonna use my engineering. I'm not gonna cut the bamboo, but I'm gonna tell them how to build it. And it's gonna be an awesome shelter. I'm really looking forward to that. Um, I think also being a PhD, just working with a lot of people from a diverse background, um, just going through school, there were a lot of diversity, Indian people, Chinese people. So I'm, I'm really good with that diversity angle and, and, and analytics. And I'm awesome at puzzles. I will own you in puzzles. So living outside and being in the wilderness does not come natural to me. I grew up in Miami, so I'm used to like the sea and the ocean and that sort of thing. Would I volunteer to like just go sleep on the beach for not a million dollars? No, but for a million dollars, if other people can do it, I damn sure can. I'm, I'm a beast. I can do anything everybody else can. Mentally, I think that competing um, on Survivor is not as tough as getting a PhD. I mean, it was seven years. It was like a slow, you know, rack. I'm going to beat you mentally every day while you come in here and make you feel like you're nothing and you have to start from the bottom and build up your confidence. So I think I can definitely do that. I've also been in a sorority, which I don't know if you've hung around, you know, like 20 girls at a time, day in, day out, but that is some cat catty bitchy bitches. They are like, will rip your heart out and stomp on it and then take your boyfriend, bitches. So when I was modeling, those, those people are models for a reason. It's a reason they're using their looks and not their mind because their minds are not very well developed. Some of them are. I, met, I have some good, very good friends from my modeling days that I still keep in touch with. Um, but most of them, I would say there's a reason they're in modeling. And I got, I got kind of bored with that very quickly. And there came a point where I had to choose whether I wanted to be a model or whether I wanted to be a nuclear engineer. And you know, the modeling, it was cool. You know, if you tell people I'm a model, you know, you elicit a, a response, but you know, never eating, retirement at the age of 30, if you're lucky, never having a place to call home. It just wasn't what I was looking for in the long term. I'm really excited to see the challenges and to see how they're built and put together. I love the mental game of Survivor. Um, just thinking of how you're gonna get people into your confidence um, working different angles, how are you going to get people to trust you? 
kind of when people think they're safe and they are totally not safe just working in a group the group dynamics I really like that along with the challenges my family is very important to me um, I love them I would not be who I am or where I am without my family everything I think all my actions and all my thoughts kind of extend from my family who they are like just being accepting because my family is very diverse and I just love them I am excited to get going Woo!